one more we have, which is not a restaurant, but which is a interesting company. An interesting company that's at their 52-week low is Diageo. Hey guys, if you're familiar with my channel, then you're familiar with the Stock Sage app. It's an app that finds fundamentally sound companies that are at their 52 week low. And now that I have the Stock Sage app, which shows me all of these opportunities in the market, I want to let you know about something that me and my wife would do for a date night considering we're, we're both into investing. I've been into investing for around 20 or more, more years now, but my wife came to it more recently. I introduced her to it. And I remember one of the things that I would do, we still do it once in a while, when she started getting interested in investing as well, we would sort of call it research, but it was for our date nights. Whenever we would go through the 52-week low and we would find any company that was a restaurant we would actually go to that restaurant, sort of explore, and we would call it research, but it was really just a good night out for us. Um, that's how we found a few good restaurants that way, and we even found or was introduced to my wife's favorite restaurant that day, one of our... Uh, um, favorite dining places, but in any event, I want to show you guys three restaurants that have recently, not just recently, they're actually in this list right here right now, dropped to the 52-week low, and I'm going to give you another bonus one. And the first one is one that I haven't been to, but me and the wife are planning on going to. We was considering it this weekend, but we weren't able to make it this weekend. But I would say probably in the next two weeks. Not these on expensive establishments. Some of them may be, some may not, but it'll add a little spice in your relationship. And the first one is Chewy's. Chewy's is a Mexican restaurant. And I'm showing you some of the, well, showing you the website. Let's go up and take a little look at the menu here. And you see the menu is broken into different areas. Let's choose food. Now, I admit I'm not much into Mexican food, but when I look at these pictures, they seem a little appetizing. I'm sort of excited about trying out this place. The menu is, it's not going to kill you. It's not much. And it's a good day out getting to see, try a few other places that you haven't seen before. Another one, and actually, we've gone to Cracker Barrel before, but to be honest, we went to Cracker Barrel by this same process. A few years back, I think we were living in Pennsylvania at the time, Cracker Barrel had dropped to their 52-week low. 
did a little research, and then ran around looking for a Cracker Barrel, went to Cracker Barrel. I have to say I'm not sure there was a favorite place, but I sort of enjoyed it. Went there for breakfast. Also went in Atlanta. No, we went in Atlanta, but we saw the one in Pennsylvania as well. And um, I enjoyed them for breakfast. So in any event, here's another one you have. A company that's at their 52-week low, their annual low price, they're a restaurant. This one everybody knows about. Yes, you, wifey's not going to appreciate, or girlfriend's not going to appreciate much if you take her here. Maybe if you tell her you're taking her here for research, for investments. But yeah, everybody knows about Wendy's. One more we have, which is not a restaurant, but which is a interesting company an interesting company that's at their 52 week low is diageo now diageo is a company which makes alcohol but they are a big company that makes alcohol so let's scroll down and take a look at some of their brands. Johnny Walker, Guinness, Tangeray, Bailey's, Smirnoff, Captain, Moyle, Captain Morgan, Crown Royale, Don Julio, Ciroc, Buchanan's, Casamigos, J and B and Kettle One. So, as far as alcohol goes, Diageo is a monster. And maybe if you guys don't want to go to a restaurant, but you may want to drop by a bar and get some Diageo products. But this is just a little video to add a little spice into your relationships while at the same time having you look at some of these companies, whether it may be a restaurant or whether it may be an alcohol I would call them manufacturer, I guess you would say, or even another type of company, having you look at them a little differently, not just looking at them from the consumer perspective, but now looking at them from the owner perspective, from the investor's perspective, from the, is this a company that I want to invest in perspective? In any event, guys, um, this is Uncle Dwayne just dropping a little advice for you guys. You guys have a great weekend, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video.